In tackling harmful online content and putting in place regulations to combat it, it is important to define what areas laws should cover. Well, that was a key message from Communications and Information Minister Josephine Teo over an upcoming bill on online safety. She was speaking from Estonia, where she is attending the Tallinn Digital Summit. She says that Singapore's approach is not to tackle everything all at once, citing recent bills on addressing online falsehoods and foreign interference. We went ahead, you know, with POMA in 2018. We updated the Personal Data Protection Act in 2020. And then this year, we moved in Parliament, uh, FICA. And now we are also moving online uh, services amendment bill. Um, because the digital domain is evolving so quickly. Um, you know, taking a more accretive approach uh, may be helpful. Um, if you want to cover everything at one go, it, it's not impossible, but it, it simply makes, um, you know, even debating a bill like that very challenging because there are just too many dimensions. Her remarks follow an earlier visit to the UK. She met with British Culture Secretary Michelle Donnellan to understand how the UK and EU are working on similar laws. We all see the need uh, for um, online communication services to have obligations, uh, in particular, how they must have um, content moderation systems and processes in place, and also at the same time, um, be accountable uh, to users um, through you know, reporting on uh, their, uh, how they have dealt with um, you know, uh, complaints uh, and, and, and user reports, for example. In the UK, Mrs. Teo also met with Google and Meta representatives who may be affected by the upcoming online safety bill. She also took part in a cybersecurity panel at the Estonia summit, where she emphasised the need to heighten vigilance against cyber attacks. Mrs. Teo said distance is no barrier when it comes to warfare in the digital age.